Hey, Jacob. I have a question. What is it? Did you ever date anybody before me? Yeah, I'll tell you the story. So, when I was a little bit younger, still in high school, <clears throat> I was mostly just the guy that had a couple of friends but never really talked to anybody. You could kind of say I was a little bit of a loner, but I didn't really mind. You could also, you, in, back in school, you could also call me a nerd a little bit. And one day, I met the boy of my dreams. His name was Sakura. And I thought he was the most handsomest guy in the whole school. But back when I wasn't that confident, I was like, no, there's no way a guy as hot like him could never, like, a guy like me but I had some courage to go over there and talk to him we talked for a while and became good friends we were friends for a while and I was so happy that day I actually got to talk to Sakura I actually got to talk to my crush one day he asked me to meet him on the rooftop and he gave me a donut after he gave me the donut, he confessed that he liked me the first day he laid eyes on me. I got surprised that he actually kissed me. But after a second, I kissed him back. We dated for a couple of months, and we were happy together. And also, as girly Sakura looks sometimes... He's actually pretty, pretty tough and protective. No matter how lovey-dovey he can be. But, there was this guy named Troy. He was the biggest bully in the whole entire school. He bullied me almost every single day. But like I said, Sakura was pretty protective. And he didn't bully me for much longer. Sakura would always just punch him in the face and make him go away. Sakura knew I wasn't that much of a fighter. So he always promised to protect me. He was my boyfriend and he was also kind of like a bodyguard. He saw my eye and put a bandage bandage over it to make it feel better. One day, I was walking to school. I couldn't wait to see Sakura that day. But one day, but when I walked on the rooftop, I saw Troy kissing my boyfriend. I was heartbroken. Sakura was trying to explain to me what happened. But I was so mad that I didn't listen. I broke up with him right on the spot. And was very sad. But then, after a year, after I graduated, I met you. And we started dating. And now, here we are today. And that's the whole story. That was some crap you had to go through. Yeah, but I don't really care anymore. Sakura? Long time no see. Yeah. Wait. Your arms. Sakura! You're cutting yourself? Family problems. I'll tell you what's going on. You see, I'm getting abused by my father. Mostly because he know he knows I'm gay. And he doesn't like gay people. So he abused me for that exact reason. Remember how sometimes I would go... Well, back when we were dating, sometimes I came to school with a couple of scratches or a black eye. And I just said I fell down my stairs. No, 
it was because my dad was hitting me every single day. And him abusing me, I went into a depression. And some people say, when you're in depression, sometimes cutting yourself soothes the pain. So I started cutting myself. I was cutting myself for a week and my depression never stopped. You can come live in our house with us. Yeah, we'll be happy to have you. Thank you so much. Just please don't cut yourself anymore. And that was when I met my boyfriend's ex-boyfriend. And he was so happy to get away from his dad. And that's how I met my boyfriend's ex-boyfriend. And we became friends.